All right, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up a salmon ball. You know, it's gonna be like a meatball, but made out of canned salmon, which doesn't look uh, too appealing on its own. But you know, you put it in a dish like this, and it looks muy fantastico. And you can use this for meatball sandwiches, make a falafel with it, you know. Instead of falafel, use a salmon ball. You know, whatever you wanna do. This is a very versatile ingredient. I use these salmon balls as a component uh, in other recipes, I don't eat them by themselves. You know that I make them very dense so that they can be punished. They can take a lot of abuse without falling apart. Because because I like to use them in curries. You know because I've been eating them a lot lately. It's healthy. So the first thing we're gonna do before we work on this uh, curry, I'm gonna show you later. We're just gonna make the straight up salmon balls. You know, and I've evolved as a canned salmon uh, connoisseur. You know, I used to not eat the bones. I used to take out this spine, but now I crush it up. I eat everything now, you know, but I like to smash up the vertebrae in particular, you know, so I don't have a little vertebrae later. But they're very soft, and this is all cooked. You know, it gets cooked up in the uh, canning process. You know, it's just like tuna. I'm eating the skin. I'm eating the bones. You know, I'm smashing it all together, you know, getting it nice and uh, crushed. And then I'm going to throw in some spices. I got a pre-mixed curry here, you know, and I'm throwing in a little bit of uh, chili powder and then some salt as well. But I'm just going to be putting in uh, ground spices. I'm not going to add any uh, diced onion or minced garlic or anything because I, I want everything to be mashed up so as not to compromise the integrity of the meatball. You know, I am going to put a little uh, fresh pepper in and I am going to put some garlic in, but I'm going to go ahead and smash it up, you know, and make it almost into a paste. You know, that way I don't have anything inside uh, the meatball that's going to cause it to break apart, you know, because I want it to be very dense and I want it to be very solid, you know, so that I can put it in a soup or a stew or this curry dish and it's going to stay together you know but it's still gonna have a nice flavor and add a great texture to whatever I'm using it for I put two eggs you know cuz that's gonna help to hold it together now I made sure and drain this salmon before I before I put it in this bowl you know what you wanna get all that salmon juice out of there but the eggs gonna make it wet again so it's gonna seem very wet but that's okay because you know once it starts to bake in the oven it's gonna solidify now I don't have camera girl today, you know, so I'm feeling a little lonely. But that's okay because I'm going to make me a friend. You know, I always like to make me a little salmon buddy, you know, to keep me company, you know, and put a little smile on my face. At first, I'm going to put a smile on his face, and I want to introduce you guys to Sammy the Salmon. Hey guys, Sammy here. You know, I'm having a lot of fun today with Chef Buck, and I hope you guys are having fun too. Hey Buck. Looks like he gained some weight. <laughs> you know, I hate to lose my temper like that, but he just he's always carrying on about my weight. And I just, I'm not going to have that guy eating away at my self-esteem. So hopefully your salmon buddy, you know, will be a little, it'll, you'll have a healthier relationship, you know, emotionally than what I have. But, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take little Sammy's smashed face, and I'm going to make 12 salmon balls. That's usually what I get out of a can of salmon. You know, they're about ping pong ball size. You know, I shape them into little circles, put them on my baking sheet. I don't have it greased. You know, I don't have any kind of oil on the pan. You want to bake it 20 to 30 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, you know, which is, uh, you know, they're definitely done. You know, they're very firm. You know, I'm having to get them off the bottom with my spatula because I didn't put any oil on the pan, but I didn't want to. I don't want, I don't want these things to be oily. I want them to be you know, nice and firm, have a very rough, tough exterior, because you can see I can manhandle these things. You know, you could make, you could make a, uh, what is that called? Like a bomb shelter, theoretically, if you had enough of these. You see, they're very structurally sound. They stay together. They don't, you know, they're not as good as Legos. You know, they don't, you'd be better off building something with, with Legos. As you see, it, it you know, it won't, they don't, you know, it's, it wouldn't make a good uh, construction material, but they are excellent in uh, stews, curries, sandwiches, anything like that. You see, boom, I took a bite there, you know, and it doesn't want to fall apart. It's very firm. It's structurally sound, you know, but these, I don't make these to eat by themselves. That's why I didn't put a lot of stuff in here. If you wanted to eat it by itself, you know, you could put rice in there. You could put um, 
chopped up uh, onions and uh, peppers and everything and you know make a nice big moist salmon ball that you could bake in the oven but I make them small and dense to utilize in a kind of a curry dish that I'm gonna show you right now but these balls you could freeze them do whatever you want with them this is what I like to do with it you know I'm gonna take my favorite skillet boom heat it on like a medium high heat throw me some olive oil in there I got a couple tablespoons of olive oil maybe three tablespoons a little bit more than I wanted to put in because I'm trying to cut back on the oil you know but that's a good amount I got one large onion I got it chopped up I'm gonna stir it around here for about a minute and then I'm gonna add in some garlic a lot of garlic I always say a lot of garlic I always say use whatever you want but you know you know the you know the drill throw in a lot of garlic throw in some ginger throw in some heat you know I'm using a uh, chili garlic sauce but you could put in fresh peppers if you want you know you could put in uh, red pepper flakes but you want to add some heat even just a little bit I like a lot of heat but we're gonna be adding some coconut milk and tomato to this so a little heat is gonna help to balance that out so even if it seems hot you know later we're gonna be adding some things that's gonna cool it down you know I'm throwing in one and a half bell peppers I got a whole red bell pepper and half of a green bell pepper. Green bell peppers to me have a very strong flavor so I'm just using half. And then I'm gonna kind of use my own curry spice here. You know I had a pre-mixed uh, curry that I put in the salmon balls. Here I'm putting in a little uh, turmeric and some coriander and some cumin and making my own little uh, curry mixture but I'm not gonna add any chili powder because I already got the chili garlic in here. So that, that's the heat element. So stir it around, get it all nice and mixed up you know that's going to be a nice little heat nice flavor let it go for about five minutes me I don't want it to cook too much I don't want it to get super duper soft you know because I like texture in my dish and then I'm going to throw in one can of uh, diced tomatoes if you want to use fresh tomatoes more power to you I like the canned tomatoes I think they have more flavor than a lot of bland tomatoes you buy at the store throw you some salt in there and then uh, let it let it cook down a little bit. If you need to add some water, I'm gonna let it go for a few minutes, five minutes maybe. You know, I'm gonna throw a little bit of water in here, not a whole lot, because I'm gonna be adding uh, coconut milk, which is is also going to uh, liquefy it up. So don't throw in too much water. You know, just let it bubble away. And then I'm gonna use uh, whole coconut milk. Camera girl likes light coconut milk. I like whole coconut milk. You should like whole coconut milk. This is gonna be a nice, creamy, delicious curry. So definitely use a whole coconut milk. You know, and there's about five minutes left in this dish when I throw in this coconut milk and then I add in my salmon balls. And look at that, you know, cause, cause we're gonna cook them up, we're gonna heat them through, we're gonna be stirring them around, but they're gonna to stay together. You know, cause the, um, the uh, what is it? The intestinal fortitude of these salmon balls, they're stand up balls. You know, they're not going to fall apart. That's why I like them firm and dense because they're great in this kind of dish because they're going to keep their shape. They're going to add a lot of flavor. They're going to add a nice texture and it's going to make a great curry dish, you know. I'm going to serve it over rice. You could chop you up some uh, cilantro and mix it in here if you want it to. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of chopped cilantro uh, to the top of my dish. But that's it. You know, this is a salmon ball curry and you don't have to do all this. You know, I made, uh, the last time I made it, you know, I just had a very plain uh, tomato and uh, curry uh, with just the salmon balls and a little cilantro. And that's it. You know, you can go plain Jane if you want. Or you can go full-blown whatever the hell. You know, throw you some damn zucchini in there if you want. Uh, but go ahead and give this salmon ball recipe a try. If you, if you do something with it other than this, tell me what you did with it. You know, uh, I think, you know, you can use it in uh, falafels, I think, as a falafel substitute. I think that would be good. Meatball, sandwich if you want. But I don't understand that. Why do you want to put something around in a sandwich? Why would you want to put like a ball in a sandwich, you know? But more power to you. But that's it. Go ahead and give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. Bon appetit. Thanks for watching, subscribing, blah, blah, blah. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the future.